Is that? Talented. That was impressive. A bear always peeking over at you. Yeah. It's a really good a looking nosy bear. neighbor. I know. With a chainsaw. Isn't that yeah. incredible? Hey, if it, if it works and keeps the critters away, then everyone will be happy, right? Absolutely. That's some real talent right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Today is going to be hot. Now, we've been talking about this cold front for some time, and it will be moving through later today, but it's going to take its sweet time getting here. So, in the meantime, we have a heat advisory for all of central, northern, and eastern Oklahoma until later on this evening. So the cold front, let's talk about the timing now more specifically. It's basically in northwest Oklahoma right now. So the shade of gray that you're seeing, it's already moved through there. It's still going to be warm up there. It's not going to be nearly as hot as the rest of the state, but it should start to get a little bit closer to around Enid, Kingfisher, Tologa, back towards northern Beckham County sometime between now and noon today. In Oklahoma City, it might not be here until probably sometime between about 5 and 7 o'clock this evening evening. So again, this afternoon, we're still going to have a southwest wind. It's still going to be really hot. Highs over 100 degrees, and then eventually it will slowly make its way into parts of southern Oklahoma. So in the meantime, Lots of sun. This is our American Fidelity camera, part of our Pike Pass Sky Chem Network. 84 degrees, a southwest wind at 11 miles an hour. The dew point at 62. Temperatures behind the front in the mid 70s. The rest of us in the low to even upper 80s already showing up. You can kind of see where that southwest wind is, anywhere between about 10 to 20 miles an hour. It looks like the cool front's trying to make its way a little bit farther to the south and east, but behind it, that wind generally out of the north and northwest between about 10 to 20 miles an hour. So the big picture right now showing some showers and a couple of thunderstorms that moved through parts of Kansas earlier this morning. Now a lot of that's over Missouri. This front that will be moving through later today, it's not going to be a big rainmaker. It will, however, have a much bigger impact on temperatures. So it's going to be a lot cooler as we get into tomorrow into Thursday, especially north of I-40. Now in Oklahoma City, we're going to be dropping down into the 80s, and that's a huge difference compared to what we've been experiencing. But parts of the state tomorrow, especially to the north, highs only in the 70s. That's going to last through Thursday. This weekend, though, that kind of backs off, and the ridge is going to still be out to the west, but it's going to be hotter. Highs climb back into the 90s. Now, some data tries to bring in a storm or two on Sunday, but I think the much higher chances start to move back in as we get into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It looks a lot more unsettled. We're going to have some more fronts that move in, and it does look a lot cooler with high temperatures, even here in Oklahoma City, dropping down into the 70s. So we have some big changes on the way. As far as how much rain is concerned, again, with this first front that moves through, it's not going to be a big rainmaker, I think, for most of us. At this point, it's giving us less than a hundredth of an inch in most locations around the metro. Could see a little bit more than that across the north. But this next system that moves in, by the time we get into early next week, it looks to be a much more substantial rainmaker. So some more rain across, especially central and eastern and southeast Oklahoma, one to two inches possible in those locations. But Today, still looking for a high of about 102 in Oklahoma City, 105 in Stillwater, 102 in Ada, 100 degrees in Lawton. For this afternoon, there is a slim chance of an isolated shower storm in central and northern Oklahoma. This evening, that chance will go up just a little bit more, not expecting a whole lot. Overnight and into tomorrow morning, the chance is actually going to go up just to the north of us, about a moderate chance for rain and storms. Tonight, the cold front continues to push down to the south, and we're going to be dropping down into the low 70s in Oklahoma City, but lots of upper 60s to the north. Tomorrow, huge difference. High of 84 in Oklahoma City, 73 in Ponk City, 79 in Woodward, 73 in Enid, and still looking for some 90s along the Red River. And then tomorrow afternoon, still a slight chance of rain and storms in central northern Oklahoma, a little higher chance across the far east. By Thursday, we're going to be staying in the mid and upper 80s and take a look at what we're expecting next week. Highs in the 70s, a possibility. Ladies, back to you.